Hi, welcome back to another review on the Mighty Max Battle Warrior series. This time I'm going to review the stereotypical fire set known as the Lava Beast. Yeah, he's uh, a little bit heavier than the previous ones. <laughs> anyway, let's check him out. Officially called Mighty Max Melts Lava Beast. So this is the Lava Beast. His design is pretty straightforward. He's a bulky fella with a stone-like body and magma-oriented arms and legs. Much like every good soldier, he's very stone-faced. And he has a fire helmet, which he could use for headbutting. And he's armed with a giant fire sword. Now to open him, just pull his head back. As for the two characters inside, we have Maxi, and the villain here is Lava Lord. He is the leader of the volcanic army race that lives in the core of the earth. He aims for world domination, and he's also a big enemy of Skullmaster. He is a cerebral type villain, as well as a physical one, so this dude can fight his own battles if needed. His mission is to overthrow Skull Mountain which is Skullmaster's domain. And at the same time, destroy Max, aka the Cat Bearer. And his ultimate soldier is the Lava Beast. Now as for the big dude's internals, he has a cauldron, so he can cook his victims to death. And he has guts made of rock and mechanical iron. Now the Lava Beast uses a crouching fighting stance, so he's not really a slick guy, but instead he's more of a power horse. He can wield that giant fire sword. And at the same time he can fire his fist at his enemies. And if things really get nuts, he can resort to biting. <laughs> Lava Beast is a lumbering but hazardous soldier. And yeah, the comic strip says it all. <laughs> so the story goes with Lava Lord and his soldier Lava Beast ready to attack Skull Mountain. All seems to be going to plan, but Maxie just happens to be tailing them. Lava Beast sees Max and tries to take him out. Max does his best to avoid the assault, but Lava Beast eventually catches him and puts him in the cauldron. Now before they can cook him, Max tricks the Lava Beast into backhanding a cauldron of magma. And the magma falls on them. Max sees Lava Lord and Lava Beast glued to the ground, and does his victory line. Yeah, so the Lava Beast is not that intellectual. We can safely say that. Now as for these Lava Beast soldiers, they do pop up frequently in the TV show. Most notably the episodes A Bellwether in One's Cap and The Magnificent Seven. Now in terms of closing, place Lava Lord in the back, seated. Stand Max on the cauldron, then close it up. Yep. The Lava Beast may not be the flashiest of all the battle warriors, but he probably hits the hardest. And hey, he's probably the most durable one too. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed its review. See you next time.